Welcome to Universal. We are doing two parks one day and we are starting off at the Universal Park to go to Diagon Alley and hopefully ride the Green Guts ride. You're not riding Hagrid's because I am incredibly motion sick and I looked at the track POV and it goes backwards so that's a no from me. We made it into Universal and we're hoping the rain stays off. It's dry for now. It's dry for now. My mom hates the rain. We're gonna go straight over to Diagon Alley. I've only been once in 2016, so we're gonna go straight there and see what it's all about. And here we have King's Cross. I was literally outside uh, outside the real King's Cross last week. <laughs> these little this is a plate but it's like a ticket to Hogwarts they've got a new kind of range which I think is really cute I've never seen that before and they've got it in purses as well all the Christmas ornaments you could ever think of
I do really like this bag. This is cute. <laughs>
Look at that. The sun is back after two days of rain. That's nice. But it was nice. We've come out of Diagon Alley quickly to get my mum a jacket potato for lunch. Mm -hmm. And actually, it was quite good. Very nice. I mean, it was expensive, but yeah, it's theme park prices. And I have my leftovers from Chewy's that I am going to have, so we're going to eat. And then I think we might do a little round and see if there's anything else we want to do in this park mm -hmm. before we get on the Hogwarts Express and go over to the other park. So since there is an animal actor show on in literally 15 minutes, we are going to stop and see this. I actually have a mentee that's currently working here. She's working, she's not on show yet, she just started. Um, but yeah, so Alexis, if you're watching this, I'm coming to see the show. And one of my other mentees formerly worked here, so it'll be nice to see it again. My doggy. I miss whiskey. I miss him. Anyway, we are now leaving Universal and we're going over to Islands of Adventure via the Hogwarts Express. So we are already at King's Cross, the fake one. I was at the real one like a week ago and hopefully there's not too long a wait. So this is exactly what I mean about the disability stuff not making any sense. So we came up in the lift and the person outside was like, okay, the scooter doesn't fit through the line, but it will be there for you when you're about to get on the train. And she was like, oh yeah, we'll just put it through these doors because the doors to like the left of the lift led straight out onto the platform. And I was like, okay, so you're making my mum transfer into a wheelchair to go through the 15 minute queue instead of just saying, okay, just go through these doors, bypass the queue and remain in your scooter. Like, I guess it's just so people aren't skipping the line, but I'm like, people with genuine disabilities, like, it just makes more sense. Like, it's, we're not trying to skip the queue. Like, it's just difficult. Like, I don't know. It's just particularly frustrating and annoying. Like, it would be better if, for instance, at Disney, they give you like a return time. So they say, okay, well the queue is 15 minutes, so come back in 15 minutes and we'll take you straight on. Like that makes so much more sense. <laughs> About to get on the Hogwarts Express. Yeah. This lighting is terrible. You're not allowed to film 
on the train. So I will see you guys on the other side. And just like that, we are now in Hogsmeade. It's a cute little ride, isn't it? Yeah, it's a much better way to get from one part to the other. Yeah, it's very, it takes like around about four minutes to get from one part to the other on the Hogwarts Express and there's like a little video that plays on the windows as if you're like going from London through the Scottish countryside and then coming into Hogsmeade, like it's cute. in the Forbidden Journey, which is the ride in the castle right now is 50 minutes, so we're gonna wait. In the queue, my mom had to transfer to a wheelchair again. Um, and once again, this queue is not particularly accessible. Like, even with the, trying to get around the corners in some of the wheelchairs, it's really hard and the cobblestones make it really difficult with the wheels. <laughs> so I left my mum chilling in the sun while I went into the gift shop and uh, I think she's enjoying herself. Sunning herself. Look at that. So what did you think of the Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey? I enjoyed it. I'm sorry, there's like people screaming for anybody that's there in a wheelchair. Yes. Yeah. There's too many steep areas. You know, you get pushed up that it's full of cobbles. Yeah, it's been it's been difficult um, with the wheelchair that we were given. Like there was also quite a lot of hills in that queue um, and the brake on the wheelchair wasn't very good. We actually had an incident in the queue where um, I'm not getting into details but basically a man was trying to overtake to join his family and I asked him to wait because my mom was on a hill and we were struggling with the brake and then he sent his son forward and his son almost got like hit by the wheelchair um, and he was not very happy about it so um, yeah that was a struggle so so far universal uh, disability services I am definitely not impressed no not at all. Disney have got it down to a fine art but universal and then also like when you come off you're just kind of left yeah this like is other direction. let's go to the left one like other park guests have had to hold open doors and stuff for us to help us through doors to get to like lifts yeah, because there's, there's just no like there's no staff members there and then the door that we tried to get through you like the wheelchair would barely fit so and given that those rides are built like 10 years ago not even no it's um yeah it's if you're not doing these things with a disabled person you obviously don't think about it because I've certainly never thought about this stuff before but it just kind of brings it to light it does you don't see a bit more now until you're actually in a chair and then you see the struggles the people that have permanent disabilities I'm hoping mine is just fleeting but we'll see. Yeah, it's difficult. But anyway, we're not gonna let it ruin the day. It's beautiful and sunny. My little lizard mother is happy because she's uh, recharged in the sun a little bit. So we're gonna have a walk, have a snack, have a mooch, and continue on. Jurassic Park River Adventure is one of my favorite rides in Orlando, uh, but we're not gonna be doing it today. Uh, I do not want to queue again. And also, I don't particularly want to be soaking wet. It's lovely weather now, but I know in like two hours it's gonna be cold again. And I'll show you how wet you get. Mother sunning herself again. Kong's a new one. That wasn't built when I was last here. I don't know what it is though. What is it? Is it a roller coaster? I just said I was in the mid for a slushie and look what appears. Amazing. I have my slushie. It's so hard to drink out of a paper straw. Like a frozen thing out of a paper straw, it's just not working. Wow, that's a lot. I'm the most unobservant person in the world. Apparently these guys all walked past me and I saw nothing. I'm not super big on Marvel, but I do like these little, are they lounge flies? I don't know if they're actually lounge flies or are they just, oh no they are lounge flies. 
yeah, I like them. I wouldn't get them, but I do like them. If you're a fan of Marvel, they're nice. You've got Black Panther ones as well. And then obviously you've got all the toy figurines. <laughs> I like these mugs. They're cute. I used to like Marvel a lot more than I like it now. I feel like overwhelmed with all the Marvel stuff now because there's now all the Disney Plus TV shows. Yeah. There's the Disney Plus TV shows, there's the movies, there's just so much mm -hmm. to keep up with. Like, I haven't watched Loki yet. I don't know. It's like you have to watch all of them to fully understand and appreciate yes. it. But. More lounge flies over here. Mm -hmm. We've got Loki. Two different Loki lounge flies here. See this, this is cool. Hang on. So you got this, and it's a magnet. Yeah, you do it. And you throw it on. Wait, wait, let me film me from behind, and then you'll see it. Okay, go. Go, go, go. God's sake, mama. <laughs> that was, uh, you need to try and, you need to try and throw it with, like, the hands on it. There you go. Try again. You're like eating it. You're absolutely. You're trying to knock him out. Let me see. You're trying to like do it softly. There you go. <laughs> almost, almost, almost. This is uh, a ride I would never be caught dead on. Not a chance. Harry Potter lunge flies. I like the honey jukes one. Oh, I never saw that. I like this one. It's got all the yeah, that's good. treats on it. Okay, these treats look really nice. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to save myself because we're going to go to Voodoo Donuts on the way out. This ride used to be like a walkthrough attraction and we quite liked it but I think it's closed now. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of wasted real estate at the moment. Like it takes up such a big area. I bet Universal has plans for it. I think, I think they'll have plans. We are going to leave Islands of Adventure now. I know we only did, we only did two rides today. Three if you count the Hogwarts Express. Um, but yeah, it's extremely busy. It's really hard with the with the scooter. And I don't think I said to the vlog, but at one point we were coming out of the shops and my mum needed to get down an exit ramp and people were blocking the exit ramp because they were taking photos with Captain America. Which is fine, like if they're queuing there, that's fine. It's not a problem. And we did wait for a little bit and then we said, excuse me, so my mum could get through. And the staff member was taking photos of someone and he literally was like, no ma'am, no ma'am. And we're like, this is a, like, this is the accessibility point for disabled people to be able to move. And you're, well, I don't know. You're saying no, but I didn't take no for an answer. Yeah, you just kept going. Yeah, um, I don't know. And, and I don't blame you because it just makes a disabled person feel like a complete and utter inconvenience. Yeah that they're an afterthought and that should not be the case like for me I think it should have been the staff member should have seen a disabled person and gone let's halt the photos for a minute let's make sure you can get by and then we will resume the photos but we had to let them take quite a few photographs yeah we'd already family. waited yeah we so, yeah it was the same people it was the yeah. same people the whole time so it wasn't as if we tried to we threw somebody and stopped the photographs from being taken you know they would taken multiple photographs and then he moved, so when he moved closer, I decided to move and he's like, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, no well, sorry, I'm going. Yeah, it's, um, it has been a little bit of a struggle. Um, I think if we hadn't gone to Disney first, we might have just been like, oh, this is, this is just what you do. Um, but I think because we have gone to Disney and we've seen how much better it can be done. Like I said, when we were queuing for the Hogwarts Express, like I'm not fussed about waiting in the queue it's not like we want to skip the lines no it's like if we can't take the ecb in can you give us a return time like just yes. tell it like if or, we have to go away for an hour and come back in an hour fine we'll do it or, but when i'm bumping my mum over literal cobblestones and she has discs out in her spine and we're on a hill and i'm struggling to push her up and around corners like it just makes the day so incredibly frustrating the thing is that when they got to the point we were going to the ecv was sitting there so why couldn't they take us through and just halt us there until it was our time to go on it yeah just to make it easier it, it almost felt like they made us go in the wheelchair just to be like and you also have to queue it was almost like they were making a point but that's okay, instead of being like queuing. we don't mind queuing but no. it would have been less degrade i don't want to use the word degrading but it would have been less 
it would have been more comfortable and it's easier and more respectful if you just said, okay, you come through this way on the ECB and now we're going to wait for 10 minutes because that's how long it would take you to queue yes. and then you can get on. Yes, that's that would have been smoother, acceptable. like more accessible everything rather than being like, okay, park the ECB here on this side of the door. We'll move it to the other side of the door for you. But in the meantime, you need to get out into a wheelchair, get pushed around for 10 minutes to get back to this exam same exact space to get back into your ECB. And then you have to take the wheelchair back. And then I have to take the wheelchair back. Yeah, like there's no staff members who have been like, okay, now we'll take it for you. It's like, I now have to, like, yeah, take it's it just... Take it back. <laughs> I like this. I really like so many of the lounge flies, but it's like trying to find where I would use them in everyday life that's hard. It's a journal. I'm usually a fiend for stationery, but I have so many notebooks at the moment, but I really cannot allow myself to buy one. Every time I come here, I consider buying a quill and ink, but I just know that that's not going to be a good idea. It's not going to end well. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, we've got a little badger. A little Hufflepuff badger. How cute. What happened to your time turner necklace? Do you still have it? I still have it. Did you bring it with you? No, I didn't. Oh. Um, you would love this bag. It's like the Howler. It is actually very good, isn't it? You love the Howler. Do you think she's hysterical? That's cool. So there's a Yeah, it's just like the. Oh, oh. See? That's cool. I thought it was like a pouch. I mean, a pouch would be more uh, pra useful. practical and useful, but that's cool. So the lounge fly saga continues. I found the color scheme that I wish for at Universal, but I don't want it to say Universal on it. I want it to say Disney. Now in City Walk, and we're going to go and get some voodoo donuts. We're going to join the queue. It's going to be a very long queue, but I've heard amazing things about them. And if you guys know me, you know I love my donuts, so I've got to go check it out. And then we have dinner at Cowfish. We have a reservation for half past six. It's only about quarter past five at the moment, so we're going to go early and see if they can seat us. And if not, we might go to Margaritaville. Okay, I didn't realize it was like a whole store. What? Oh my gosh, they have so many flavors. I don't know what, I don't know what I want. Oh God. Wow, they look so good. Ah, so this little this handy little spinning wheel tells you what they are. We have a little menu. I'm so indecisive. Come into Margaritaville. My mom has the spiciest marg I think I've ever seen. Just had a couple of margaritas in Margaritaville. I don't know if I filmed them. My mom had a spicy marg and I had a mango marg, and they were very nice. My mom has gone into the store to get something for her friend, and then it will be time for our reservations. And I'm very excited because cowfish is supposed to be very good. This menu is burger, massive. Burger sushi, you see that? Yeah, burger sushi. Yeah, they have a fusion. So known for their burgers and they're known for their sushi. And then they have like a small kind of menu where everything is put together. But the one I saw for you, mum, it was something to do with it was like uh, it was like jalapeno. Yeah, the jalap jalapeno popper showstopper. Beef burger, jalapeno infused cheese, jalapeno bacon, fried jalapenos, okay. jalapeno alioli, lettuce, tomato, and fresh sliced jalapenos. Which I think is most yes. likely what you're going to be going for. Bye. 